Hi friends, today we're gonna do my December TBR takedown and double call. If you are new here, the TBR takedown is where I go over my stats of what I hauled this month, what I read this month, get a new total, trying to get from way high up at like 240 is what I started at for the beginning of the year, down to, well, a manageable number, like 50. I don't know. I don't know what the goal number is, but it's not 240. I could tell you that. My starting number for December was 200, which <laughs> realistically is not great considering I started at 240. I unhauled like 20 books this year. I've read 80 some books this year. Not a great start. We're gonna start off 2020 with, well, you'll find out very soon. So let's get to my acquisitions, if you will. I like that word, it's a big word, and I like it. So the first book that I acquired is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassie Clare. This is the Pretty Spine paperback edition. And the best part about this book is that it doesn't fucking count. I read this already through a different version and I just bought this to complete my collection. Because it is already read, it doesn't count as an unread book. So no number change on that. Next is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. This book is post-apocalyptic. I don't really know much more other than that, other than I know some people that really enjoyed it. And I got this from the local bookstore. I went in to meet with the owner a few weeks ago and uh, figured since I was there I would uh, pick up a book and this was the one that most interested me that day. Next is a book that I do not physically have in my hands and that is Ten Blind Gates by Ashley Elston. This was a Christmas gift and I have since loaned it out to a friend because I loved it and I wanted to share the joy at Christmas time and that book follows a teenager whose boyfriend and she break up and she has a really big Italian family and her grandmother decides to set her up on ten blind dates. Basically each member of the family gets to set her up on a blind date for the day. It's a, more about the family dynamic and the girl finding out what she really wants from life more so than the actual who's she gonna choose thing because you know from like page 10 who's she gonna choose. It's still a very interesting story and I really loved it. Then we have The Bromance Book Club by Lissa K. Adams. This book is about a football player who is having some struggles with either his girlfriend, his fiance, or his wife. I'm not sure which. His significant other. And he finds out that the other married guys on his team have a romance book club where they read romance books to help them um, understand their wives better. And it sounds amazing. And this also was a Christmas present as well. Speaking of Christmas presents, I also got The Modern Fairy Tales by Holly Black, which is Tithe, Valiant, Ironside, and The Lament of Letty Lou. These are older books of Holly's that are like way in the backlist due to the popularity of the Cruel Prince trilogy have been, they are doing a lot of bind ups and republishings on these as well. And I was gifted this for Christmas. And the final book of the haul is Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. I won this in a giveaway by Julie at Pages and Pens for the holiday. This book follows a young woman who is chronically ill and kind of lives in her own little shell and after a life-threatening incident she decides to break out of that shell and to get a life and she enlists the cute bad boy handyman at her apartment complex to help her do that and it sounds like all kinds of fun. So thank you again Julie for the awesome contest and I'm so excited to get to this. I had no DNFs and no unhauls this month so let's get into the reads. As always I'm not going to give a full review for these. I will link you to my wrap-up video in the description box below and in the cards so that you can watch the full wrap-up. Uh, it just makes these way too long if I do the haul and the wrap-up all together. So they are it's All Downhill From Here by PJ Knight. This is the 10th book in the Creepover series. 12 Days of Dash and Lily by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. This is a follow-up to Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This is the first book in the Darker Shade of Magic series. 
Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. And this is a bind up of like three novellas that all center around the same town but different characters. Ten Blind Dates by Ashley Elston, which again, I got this month but have loaned out to a friend. Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young, which does not count as coming off of the list because it was a library borrow, so not for my TBR shelves. The Girl That Sea Gave Back, also by Adrian Young. It is a companion novel to the first. If you want to read this one, I highly recommend you read the first one. Otherwise, if you read this one first, it'll spoil everything from the first one. Linger by Maggie Stiefvater. This is the second book in the Shiver trilogy. Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. This is the second book in the Remnant Chronicles. And finally, Winterwood by Shea Earnshaw. And that also does not count as coming off of my TBR because I read it via the library. If my calculations are correct, then my new total TBR books, the end of December, so the brand new number for the beginning of 2020, is 197 unread books. And that's generous because I probably should have counted the modern fairy tales as three books, but we're not doing that. Let me know in the comments below if you are doing anything to hold yourself accountable for your physical TBR shelves because like mine they are running rampant. I would love to check out any videos that you have about that. I really like like the TBR games where you do like Monopoly or Wheels or all of that plus just I, I love TBR games. They're really fun. Uh, balancing the books is fun which is kind of what this is but kind of not. I don't know what you would consider this thing that I'm doing. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe, and until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!